Thanks for being here. Sorry, we're running a few minutes late. I was just on the phone with Governor Abbott and we were talking over the situation and he was making sure that any uh, resources that we needed from the state on down are being extended. Uh, let me start out with the most current information that we have is that the pipeline is owned by Energy Transfer. Uh, the fire is contained to the extent that uh, we've got a perimeter set up and uh, we some levels of evacuation have been conducted and uh, the pipeline source is being shut off and there's a time frame that's going to be extended to hours, I will just say, on how long it's going to take for that product to be burnt off. We've got evacuations that have occurred, which many of the surrounding businesses, there's too many to list, but HEV, Walmart, we've got two schools, Heritage Elementary, College Park Elementary. We've got shelter in places for James Baker and San Jacinto College. Uh, the Jimmy Burke Activity Center on 13th Street is set up for any of the evacuees or people in the impact zone that need a place to go. Um, partners that are working with us on this situation is Laporte to Pasadena, Harris County Fire Marshals, Harris County Pollution Control, the Deer Park Fire Department, Pasadena Fire Department, Laporte Fire Department, and we have constables here from uh, uh, precinct 8. Uh, we've got Tetum here. So all the resources that can be extended are, are here and present. Again, we're just uh, in a containment mode to any of the facilities that are in close proximity. Uh, as you can see with the uh, cameras that the fire is uh, it's very hot. So a lot of the house structures that are adjacent to that are still catching on fire even though we're putting a lot of water on them to try to control that. Um, I'm sure as the, we go through the day, there's representatives from uh, energy transfer that will be here to start uh, assisting and working with uh, anybody that's displaced and uh, we'll be putting out that information here shortly in a press conference on where anybody that's in the impact zone, which roughly is about a half a mile from proximity to, to the fire itself. Uh, did you have anything you wanted to add to that? Anybody have any questions? Yeah, I know the cause of this fire. Uh, the the cause is, is under investigation and it's way too early to speculate exactly. Mayor, right now, how many injuries of any including your first responders? Forgot that. Uh, we have one uh, fireman that had yeah, minor. There's one fireman that's uh, been treated for minor injuries. Uh, so far, that's it that, that we've treated through our EMS. Um, can you guys talk a little bit about the rotation of the first responders right now? Obviously, it is very hot outside. Obviously, this fire is really big, shooting up hundreds of feet in the air. Can you talk a little bit about how you guys are approaching this response-wise? Yes, uh, we've been in contact with the command staff on scene and they have requested that we send some buses out there for rehab of the firefighters. We've done that and coordinated that through our parks and rec department. And we have now set up those buses sitting in a park, church parking lot in the area so they can go over there and rehab as needed. Mayor, have you ever had any issues like this in your city before seeing a pipeline like this? Obviously the images are quite jarring for a lot of people in our community. Well, we've dealt with a number of things. This is my 12th year as mayor, but uh, specifically to this type of incident, uh, no, not specifically. Mayor, you mentioned that there are some houses that got on fire. Do you know how many homes are on fire? Right now, there's approximately five. That is the closest that you can uh, see on most of the video or audio that's being put out there that uh, uh, is being, uh, you know, the fire department is putting water on that to try to keep them from catching on fire. But, but did, they actually, did they actually catch on fire? Or yeah. is this is prevented there? I think a, a combination of both. Correct. Most, mostly due to the radiant heat coming from the pipeline fire. And, uh, you know, it was light smoke coming up, no major smoke coming off the structures. They were able to get in there and extinguish uh, the hazard. So the fire, I want to double check, the, the pipeline, the fire occurred in Deer Park, but I know there's some damage in LaPorte, but I just want to double check that the, where the fire took place, that's, that's Deer Park. Correct. So the fires that had gone off the grasses and affected by the power lines, are those contained up to your knowledge? Correct. The, the grass fires on the pipeline right away appear to be contained. Of course, we still have some smoking utility poles, and as they can get in there later on to assess that and get close enough when the fire dies down, they'll be able to extinguish that. And the status now of the number of customers affected by the pipeline? I don't have that number.
there was this a do you know if this was an ex explosion or, or can you just talk more about the the way projectiles went to burn grass and burn other things? In all honesty, until the investigation is complete, we're not going to speculate on, on anything in regards to the original uh, source or, or what caused the incident to occur. There's, there's a number of different things, and all that will be worked out a after the fire is put out. Mayor, how hard is to contain this fire? It's been, you know, for hours like that. Okay, so the product in the pipeline is just going to have to burn off. They've, they've shut this, the pipeline down. And until all the, the, the product that's in that pipeline burns off, uh, it will be hours, uh, if not into tonight or tomorrow. It'll be a while before it goes out, but it's just something that we're going to have to wait until all that's burned out. Do we know what's burning? Do we know what's burning? It's a liquid natural gas. Once it actually burns out, I guess we still have to evaluate before you'll be able to let people put things back in? That would be a good assumption. Not to the best of our ability, but I know there's multiple agencies, including the county, that's doing air monitoring. So, but I, I would not suspect there's any uh, health danger as far as environmental impact. But uh, all that's being monitored. So you mentioned that it could be up until tomorrow. Is there a possibility that more homes could be affected? No. The company statement had mentioned something about an unknown passenger car that may have struck the valve. Any knowledge about that? That's going to all be part of the investigation. It'll get worked out after the. Going back to her question about the possibility of potentially fire spreading, how, how are you so sure that it's not going to happen? Can you it's contained that? to that one isolated spot. That's what we know. Hypothetically, anything's possible, but we don't foresee that spreading beyond where it's at. What's your message to the folks that live along that area? We met a woman earlier today. She was very emotional in her car. I have no idea. It would be concerning to me if, if, uh, if I were to know I couldn't go home this evening. So sure, it's going to be uh, a, a situation that we're all going to have to work together, uh, including with the energy transfer company to find uh, uh, everyone in that impact zone, a temporary uh, situation to make sure they have what they need, whether it be starting tonight, uh, hopefully in most cases, as, as we know through any of these incidents, uh, family is going to play a major role in, in giving places a short term for, for people that are displaced. But there will be some that are displaced, whether it be directly from the fire or potentially from power outages, because through that area is also a main uh, distribution line of, of power. So uh, all of that will be dealt with and mitigated to the best of our ability. Is the Red Cross assisting you all with any of that? Uh, I'm, to the best of my knowledge, I, I haven't had any communication with Red Cross. Most of it is just dealing with the county itself. I don't have a specific count on that. That's yeah, probably just guessing and like straight evacuated was probably 50. Uh, the ones that are going to be impacted by it from power from it's going to be significantly more than that. Once once it's safe, we'll let people back in. But that uh, the product has to burn out of that line enough that the temperature gets down where it's safe for people to move back in before we'll let anybody back in. Talk to us about the process that went into place, the gears that started turning with the help with every everyone coming in, setting the uh, you know uh, set the per parameters to fight this. Just talk to us about the process that that everything that happened. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. All right, once the call went out, uh, our fire department responded. Laporte Fire Department is right down the street from there, too, so they automatically responded. From an emergency management standpoint, I was already getting, con I was in contact with the city of Pasadena, Harris County, TDM, and Laporte. And we all started working together and get the wheels rolling, rolling on all those type of things. Uh, once the fire department was down there, they coordinated with the EMS for anything, and then they set up a command post, a unified command post, and was coordinating the response from that location. And we also were working with Pasadena, uh, sent us their drone team. So we've been monitoring drone footage from the scene and keeping an eye on things that were going on there. I've seen uh, officials from Baytown, or fire first responders from Baytown, 
Well, well, mostly I know initially from from Laporte, Deer Park, and uh, Pasadena, and we 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 requested some uh, assistance from SEMA, Channel Industry Mutual Aid for some manpower, uh, Laporte EMS and and. Uh, Deer Park EMS as well. So I would imagine there's probably a good over 100 responders out there. Could, could each of you identify who you are? Yeah. I'm Jamie Galloway, the Emergency Services Director for the City of Deer Park. Yeah, Frank Hart, Assistant Chief in Deer Park. And I'm Mayor Mouton. Thank you. It is there, yeah. Closing thoughts as, you know, obviously you talk about potentially this going into the night, several hours. Will we be able to hear from you all again at some point this afternoon? Sure. We'll be putting out, uh, obviously, some press releases as we gather information. This is going to be a whole lot of uh, hurry up and wait to narrative. Uh, as as uh, I know the question that was asked about the personnel on the ground, I'm sure there will be uh, – uh, calls for additional personnel on the responders to rotate some people out because with the heat and in that proximity I'm sure so that'll most probably be the longer it goes something we'll have to start looking at obviously dealing with the uh, energy transfer company making sure that uh, any of the claims and, and needs that are going to be uh, uh, coming up here as it goes later in the day are, are going to be a top priority making sure that everybody's in the impact zone uh, it is, is uh, assisted in any manner that uh, that we we possibly can. I know you're still investigating, but there were a lot of people saying that apparently the fire started uh, due to a car that hit the pipeline. Is there a possibility that that could be the reason? There is a possibility. The We're not going to comment on anything pertaining to the investigation. It's it's uh, very early in the narrative, so so. Um, you know the car is there. We know the car is there. Uh, we're not for sure in any aspect, so we're not going to speculate on that until we, we have an opportunity to really uh, lay out what occurred, and, and it'll, it'll all be done after the fire is put out. There was a fence around that complex. Not me. We, we were not prepared to do that. Sorry. Did we run out of questions? Perfect. Time to walk off. That's the first. Thank you guys for coming. We'll be here the rest of the day, obviously.